Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that central banks are planning coordinated action in coming days as we head into the Greek elections and the worry about a Eurozone meltdown. Reuters is reporting that central banks are ready for action on Monday or Tuesday, depending on what happens with the Greek elections. G20 officials have told Reuters that there will be a G7 emergency meeting on Monday or Tuesday where central bankers will join by phone and where they'll say they're willing to provide emergency liquidity to the global financial system to prevent a credit squeeze. This emergency liquidity could be an increase in US dollar swap lines or emergency injections of cash into the global financial system. That's because the Greek elections are coming and there are nerves growing there about what might happen. There is obviously a bank run going on in Greece where 700 million euros a day in deposits are being withdrawn as voters and depositors worry that whatever the result, Greece will have to be forced out of the Eurozone. That would mean their savings devalued into drachma. Also uncertain news from the Middle East where there's been a soft coup in Egypt. Parliament's been dissolved just before presidential elections and the military is back in control. However, the Dow is up 1% as it closes. There are hopes for a third round of quantitative easing. Jobless claims in America were up 6,000 to 386,000 when people had expected a fall. And US consumer prices fell 0.3% last month. That's the biggest fall since December 2008. Obviously, when deflation hits, central banks start printing money. Meanwhile, Credit Suisse and Deutsche have cut their views on Chinese growth below 8% and they say that China could drag on the global economy. And finally, back to Europe, where the Bank of England and the UK Treasury say they will act together to reverse tightening credit in the UK economy. Yet more emergency action. And if it couldn't get any worse, in Spain, the 10-year bond yield rose over 7% overnight. That's an emergency level. The Italian three-year auction of bonds rose to 5.3%. That's its highest since December. We're obviously going into a period over the next few days where the global financial system will be under extreme stress and officials are ready to deal with it. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 seconds at 9 o'clock from interest.co.nz.